evening all, St. Peter the Air, the man they called the rock. I hail the key to heaven's gate, so no one dares to mock me. That's the gate, while God goes through the diaries to check if they've been good or bad. I make a few discreet routine inquiries. If they've been bad, we send them down to Satan's lot down under. But hold on, and I'll show you now. Here comes it. Oh, that must be one of these trendy left goods I've no been to. Design a fancy dress and all, eh? Welcome, son, St. Peter the Air, the man they call the rock. And if I've got your accent right, you used to be a jock. That's what I used to be. I want to be Scottish for a wee bit longer, thank you. Uh, you're dead now, Jim. Unearthly times. I'm now completely severed. This is Heaven's Gate, my son. And this goes on forever. Hey, hey, did I make you sick? Bucky said it was ten feet to buy a season ticket for football. That's the lesson. Okay, St. Peter, where's our latest step? To get inside the pearly gates, it can't be a name. If you want a pair of wings like these, you must be really brave. Brave, brave, you know how the Texas Stewart. Caught what that people punch is from one baby teeth, eh? Ask Malky if you don't believe me. Well, forget that, sorry. Sorry, Malky, you really had your brain of really went away there. <laughs> Dexy, Dexy, stood up in the middle of Glasgow. Glasgow, my dear. Say, the hell are you, Brody? The hell are you, Catholics? When you do that, for 45 seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by appearances, I seem to have died from a big face. So here I am, old, you know, although you're going to carry out, eh? I'll take you in and show you around where you'll have to meet the boss. It's up to God to separate the good faith from the dross. I'm oh, sorry, so it would. So that would go all right, eh? Oh, well, it comes to the only end. It's a pity my end came just before the medal, eh? <laughs> from Scotland God, a man who's fond of tricky, said he was a brave man, and he goes by the name of Stuart. Oh. Teacher! Yes, God? Teacher! Yes, God? Teacher, I'm sure you could make me so right to the time of our day. For three hundred years, we've been teaching you to study suddenly. Perhaps you'll get it right in the next seven hundred years. Yes, God. So you're God? Yes, you're No, Louis. 
was I who brought you to this. I have done a lot of divine intervention. I told you this is my fault. You've got to come in, Isaac. Well, this year, I've had enough of all for one day. <laughs> you had given up hope for yourself <laughs> and for others. You were about to commit a terrible sin. They were only doing a bit of landscape gardening and doing everybody a favour at the same time. So, this is heaven. That's not quite what I had in mind for my Saturday night either. You put that bankrupt bouncer over there talking to me for you. Peter is going through a rough patch. You'll have to excuse me. <laughs> what did you write that here for? I want you to take Dixie here, down to Earth again, to Nidre. <laughs> I wish you'd be deep there, please, my dad. <laughs> when I took you on, you were just about to light the fuse. You were full of the food. Yeah. Anna wants you. They calculated exactly how long it would take to get everyone out of the scene. There was a perfect plan to destroy the houses and leave the people standing. I'm going to give you another chance, a second chance to fight away. Once once again, in time, to stop the bomb going off. If you decide to go ahead and blow it up, we will meet again to decide your fate. Dixie's fate rests on this tomb. It is his job to find a way for the people of Nidre to win. You send us back! Did you know I think to the angel to kill us on it? This jacket has not been scared of living daily to you. The last angel <coughs> who was sent to Scotland didn't come back in very good condition. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Dixie needs you to guide him through time and space. He would never have got there alone. There are not a flash of AD directions. Do you know how that's here? You women have the chance to choose life again. Oh, the end? Oh, the end? He's dead. Yeah! Gabriel!
Bend in the next jump load together. Why do you fancy you slip in at something a wee bit more comfortable, eh? What do you want? I'm not to wait, thank you. I can get you one, Paula. You two hours. It's a very little system. You just want to take full speed time travel, as you are. You're working flipper. Now, I can't wait two hours. I've got a bomb to defuse. God gave me six hours to find my destiny. You can't take two of them to find the bloody machine. I wouldn't buy them and switch them all off.
But make calculations and practice the stop watches from lighting the fuse to the block going up. But that fact was twice the seven minutes to get everybody out. Never meant to kill anyone, did you? Tell them, Jewel, she's right. Aye, but God took us off feet. I mean, she must have forgot to stop the explosion. Well, so there was no warning. A wind bag, a butcher, and a wretch 
big rich man. You are a man, an odious man, a windbag, and a fool. <laughs>
Tad Butler, your father, that I put you. Yeah. And I'd rather be dead than the past. That can't be arranged. I'll off that in ace. <laughs> Have you the metal for the fight? Uh huh? Yeah. You wish to take a handful? Well, of course you want. You find that not to bring one of the family again. You think this scum has blood in his veins? No. The time. She wants to challenge you. I'll fetch you my saber and fetch you to the death. <laughs> that will be my pleasure and my We suffered under your greedy game for long time. Mm -hmm. One minute more. And I'll arm myself to strike revenge for all the poor who've lived under the shadow of your fine house. My dear, I will avenge on you the memory of Archibald and all the insults you have dared to let.
Thank you. 
You cannot keep their people safe. You send them off to war as soon as they win. I wish you could join us, Mom. I can see a woman and a half. Where are you going to go? The three men who are going to go. You have a woman who can send us to war. Stand that boy, Prince Charlie. Where do you think you can tell the chancellor is? under my departure of them. After that, you're afraid of nothing. Thank you. 
my own butler as he introduces me like a visitor.
Look at me, what a fight, Ooh, man. Fight. Yeah.
near to the time when you send me to now. I'll get to Nether before and I'll save the houses over people's heads. Thank you. 
It's only for too many years. You've done it too many things. Ah, but I think I'm good to go back home. I'm going to take my dogs and get to some part of the house. I'm sure enough. I've heard them say they can't afford to put any more money in this place. What's the deal? They'd run out of money and have to shut them down altogether. Did you believe that? And maybe you'll believe that Santa Claus will bring in the money exchange in the place. I'll tell you, we won't be doing that again. We'll take the responsibility of sending us to take the profits. But who can afford to go out, man? We've never got 26 years later. We'll support you. There'll be enough money to go around. We can do it. The place you're looking at. Aye. Are we going to let Colin and Danny and Sam die for nothing? No. Are we together? Aye. Aye. Aye.
Look, I understand I'm going to do it now. Just get everybody out. 